Hey, it's Josh, Treasured Spaces, talking right way, wrong way today. In construction, there's obviously tons of different aspects, different processes, things. There's lots of right ways and even more wrong ways. Today, we are talking about some different kinds of footings. Um, in particular, this here. It's not a fence post for a chain link fence. It is called a helical pile or helical pier. Um, this thing, it's, it's galvanized steel, it's, it's heavy. Um, this will allow you to build a house in a swamp if you want, where the, it's just mush soil. When you're building a house or a deck or anything, obviously you have to be able to support the weight of that structure. And people run into issues um, when you have poor soil um, or like frost heave issues, which is like in Minnesota when the ground freezes, things can be pushed up. Um, decks, if you've ever seen a deck that looks really crooked, that could be frost heave that's pushing it. And then usually in the spring, it'll go back down somewhat, but usually not all the way. Um, those are usually uh, like a cement footing um, where you dig a hole, pour some cement in the ground and set your post on that. Again, this is a helical pile. This is probably the most predictable as far as weight bearing or weight capacity. Um, the frost won't move this. What this relies on is a computer that hooks to this thing through a machine. We use a mini excavator. It hooks onto the top of here. It's got a big motor on it that turns this thing into the ground. And as it's turning into the ground, this helix is drawing it down into the ground. Uh, makes very little soil disturbance. It goes right in nice and easy. Um, and you're connected to the top, it's reading the actual torque or the force it's taking to spin this thing. And the computer's tracking this the whole time. And as you get deeper and deeper, that force is gonna rise and rise and rise. And um, knowing that force it's taking to turn this, you can calculate exactly how much load you can put on this or how much weight you can put on this. The ultimate capacity for this thing right here, driven to its full capacity, is 80,000 pounds. So um, they can hold quite a bit. But like I said, they're predictable. If you have terrible soil or mushy soil, um, you just keep driving this down and putting extensions on. In extreme cases, you might be over 100 feet deep before you get to that good compacted soil that's capable of holding that weight. Most of the time you're between 10 and 40 feet, I would say. Um, these come in seven foot sections, these particular ones. Sometimes you're only gonna use this piece, but sometimes you are gonna add on. Like I said, this is the most predictable, the most, I would say, fail proof if you're, if you're putting it in how you're supposed to with that computer. Um, the frost doesn't try to push it up. And I love these things. You can use them all over. There's different attachments for the top. They have what's called a new construction bracket, which you would drive into the ground before you're gonna put a block foundation in or something. And you do these every so often and you can build your block foundation over this. Um, they have deck brackets, so you can drive this in and support your deck with this. So there's lots of right ways, lots of wrong ways, but um, in a lot of circumstances, this is going to be the right way, the most fail-proof way. Um, if you do it the wrong way, if you use other kinds of footings, um, you can have frost heave, like I said, where that footing is getting lifted by the frost in the winter. You can have settling where you'll notice cracks in your drywall um, or your deck will start to slope away from your house. Um, there's actually brackets that mount onto this thing to raise sunken foundations. You end up digging down alongside that bad foundation and you drive these in and you can raise that back up. Um, a lot of times you'll see doors that don't close properly because of settling in homes. Um, I've seen tons and tons of decks that have been pushed up. The end that's away from the house gets pushed up. The posts and the footings and everything move up in the winter. Um, drive around in the winter and look close and you're almost guaranteed to see a couple of those out and about. All these things are just another reminder of why you should hire a competent contractor. 
Nobody knows everything, but competent guys will do their research and try to figure things out, point you in the right direction. This has been another Right Way, Wrong Way with Josh.